2. Good evening and thanks for joining us for WJCL News at 10 o'clock. I'm Megan Schiller. Well, tonight was a very big night for Metro Police Chief Joseph Lumpkin. WJCL News was there as he laid down his plans to increase public safety in the city. WJCL's Chelsea McDonald was there and has more details. Chelsea. Metro Chief Lumpkin says crime in Savannah is driven by drug sales and local gangs. His first priority is recruitment. He wants to hire local people, but he says his vision is a shared responsibility. In front of many, Metro Chief Lumpkin shared his vision for Savannah safety. While last year wasn't the worst Savannah has seen in terms of crime, Chief Lumpkin admits it wasn't the best. In 2014, 32 people were gunned down in Savannah. He says one is too many. Murder is certainly a problem, but we want to understand that the aggravated assault is the real issue. If we're having more gunshots or uh, aggravated assault, that's what we've got to stop, and then the reduction in murders will occur. He said the city is still dealing with neighborhood gangs. That's why he's put officers together to tackle the gangs and the drugs that come with them. It's the only way to control uh, crime is to control gangs, control guns, uh, and control dr street level drugs. Or you're going to have street level violence in the ch and shots fired. Yet his first priority is to get seats filled in patrol cars. He says the department is understaffed by 13%. We can't have the impact that the citizen deserves if we don't have officers at our staff and level. But it, it takes a year to train people. We need to hire uh, approximately 100 to 120 officers in the next 12 months and train them. While he works to build up the department, the officers need community support. He wants to build trust and get neighbors to help actively solve crimes. Chelsea McDonald, WJCL News, working for you.